it's time for another small business spotlight. And that spotlight today is on a company called North Harbor and they're out of India. So let's check them out. So North Harbor specializes in handmade everyday carry gear, especially wallets. And I have a few of them here. This one is called the Tuna Can. And this one right here is called the Reef Wallet. And before I move on here, I just wanted to show you what the packaging looked like before I open these up to test them out. First off, it came in this box with the North Harbor logo on the front. And I'll throw up a picture of how these wallets arrived to me. They were wrapped very nicely, tied up with some string. Very nice unboxing experience here. And I have a question, because I left these inside here. These were packaged inside with the wallets. What the heck are these? They're obviously for decoration. I just don't know what the heck they are. All right, so now let's get to the wallets here. So like I said, this is the tuna can wallet and this is the reef wallet. These wallets are hand saddle stitched and hand cut from natural vegetable tan full grain water buffalo leather. And that's part of the reason why I wanted to do this video because I rarely see water buffalo leather used in making wallets. And North Harbor sources all of their leather from a local tannery right in India. Now let's take a closer look at this natural water buffalo leather right here. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Like I said, I don't have a lot of experience dealing with this type of leather and wallets, but it is very nice. It is a firm, firm leather. And being a natural vegetable tan leather, this is going to patina absolutely beautifully. And then let's take a look at their stitching over there at North Harbor. Everything looks fantastic. Show you the other side. That is great. And these edges do have a nice glossy polish to them, as you can see. And it's the same deal here with the Reef Wallet. Very nice hand saddle stitching. And you can see that glossy polish right there on the edges. And this is still made of natural vegetable tan water buffalo leather, but it is hand dyed. And I've never really seen this pattern before either. It almost looks like someone just took a marker to it and just went crazy. I don't know the hand dyeing process when it comes to leather, but that's what it looks like to me. It's very unique. I don't have another wallet in my collection that looks quite like this. Now going back to the tuna can here, it looks like there's one horizontal card pocket right here. On the other side, there's a vertical card pocket with a cash compartment right dead center. Now this is an extremely minimal wallet as you can see. I believe you can hold three cards in each one of these pockets plus cash right in the middle. And the Reef wallet here is a vertical style leather wrap wallet that's made up of two pieces of leather. The first piece of leather is in the middle that's just folded to create that center pocket. And then another piece of leather that's wrapped around and starts here and ends right there. And that creates four total pockets. So now let's get to the card test. So the tuna can wallet right here, I stuffed three cards right here in this vertical pocket and three more cards in this horizontal pocket. And then in the center cash pocket, I have 10 American dollar bills folded in half. Now, obviously this is made to hold the Indian rupee, but you can see American dollar bills fit in there very nicely. And regarding the card slots, you guys know I don't really like stacking cards in card slots like this. But if you go with the tuna can, you don't really have a choice just because of how minimal this is. It's just two pockets, one on each side. So this horizontal card pocket, obviously you wanna put your most used credit card on the front there and then right there in that vertical pocket, which I like this vertical pocket here. But like I said, if I had a choice, I wouldn't want to stack cards. Maybe not three deep. Two is okay, one is ideal, but that means you just have to carry around two credit cards or four at the max. But as it is, I have six cards in here with 10 American dollar bills. Very, very nice. Now let's go over to the Reef Wallet. I have eight total cards stuffed in here right now. I have six in that main middle compartment and then my most used credit card right here and then another one right here in that pocket behind it. And then in the back pocket is where I put another 10 American dollar bills. Uh, you do have to fold your bills into quarters or thirds. This isn't going to be big enough to accept bills folded in half, but I've seen this style of leather wrap wallet a thousand times before. The same thing with the tuna can wallet, but what makes these stand out to me is the use of water buffalo and the hand dyeing here on this reef wallet. And this natural leather isn't the only leather that North Harbor offers. I believe there's 12 total colors to choose from. Oh, and I almost forgot the branding here and the smell test. Let's do that. So the branding here, very minimal, just North Harbor stamp right there on the bottom of the reef wallet and then right dead center of the tuna can. And I can't believe I almost forgot to do the smell test, especially on this water buffalo leather. So let's do that. Okay. Okay. So 
It doesn't have that overwhelmingly leather smell that I absolutely love. And that's probably due to the natural vegetable tan here. Let me just do it one more time. Yeah, I'm not getting that overwhelming smell. Still smells pretty good, just not that classic leather smell that I love. Also, I don't think North Harbor has a website, so I believe you have to order it through their Instagram page. And I'll have all that information down below if you guys wanna check out either one of these wallets for yourself. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the wallets from North Harbor? If I had to choose between these two right here, I would go with the Reef Wallet just because I love minimal leather wrap wallets, especially vertical leather wrap wallets of this style. Plus, it looks extremely unique with this hand-dyed natural water buffalo leather. Very, very cool. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!